Hi guys, here is Celso Molo again uh, with the, my friends on Facebook and um, I was thinking uh, the other day, I said, well, I don't have any dogs to do a video about grooming, so what can I do uh, to help my friends? And I thought, well, I will use my drawing skills to to do something and uh, and show you guys a little bit about the grooming. Uh, uh, some of this uh, you guys have seen before, but it's always good to remind since that there's no uh, videos uh, for now on on my Facebook page. So um, so let's talk about the direction of uh, the pulling, how you pull the hair. Okay, so. Um, Let's start for the head. A lot of people have been asking me about how how do I do the head? How do I pull the head? And uh, uh, I don't have a I have a front head here to show you guys. But uh, basically, I pull uh, the sides. I pull up. Okay. I grab the hair from the sides and I pull up. Sometimes I grab with my hand. I turn like this so there will be hair here in my hand and i pull the tips and do this on both sides okay this side up the other side up the top i'll pull up and slightly forward in the middle of the eyes i'll pull up okay the hair that goes up here in the middle of the eye i pull up okay and um and in the bottom here in the bottom, I pull forward. Okay, this is very basic, but to give you guys a little bit of an idea. So remember, when you pull, you always wanna make sure you are you are doing a round shape of the head, and uh, and you never wanna groom uh, pull the hair too short because you wanna leave a little bit uh, a little bit longer because you only finish a head when you do the head up. So you put the cholesterol, the chalk, and then you brush a little bit, you back comb, and then you pull out with the picker, and then it's gonna look rounded, then usually it's gonna be a little bit bigger than it should be. Then you can uh, pick a little bit more or use uh, the thinning shears just to take the ends to give a little a bit of shape, but that, how you, more or less the direction you should put, pull the head, okay? Um, remember to grab the hair with your head like this, so the hair will be in here, and then you pull. And then the other side, and you pull, okay? So in the front here, it's very short. A lot of people use the thinning shears in this part, okay? Um, I most of the time I pull the only part I use the thinning shears is near the ear here uh, near the uh, the base of the ear to clean this part because it's very hard uh, it's very hard pull very hard on the dog so um, I usually uh, use the thinning shears here to smooth it out um, so you pull very short I pull down this part right in the front and once it starts to get to the side here the side of the neck then i start to pull this this way okay in this direction okay so the shoulder here go short as well i don't pull down here i pull slightly on an angle here okay and then this dotted line is it are the place you're gonna start to blend with the longer hair from the the um, the legs okay some people well I brush the hair up of the legs okay and then I pull them down the tips down okay to uh, to fall on top of the foot which I pull up I grab the foot and I pull the hair from the foot up only the foot okay and then i'll brush the whole leg up with a pin brush 
and then I get the tips and pull down. Some people pull out, outwards, okay, and then brush down. And I, I brush up and then I'm, I'll pull down, okay? So, so this, since here is short, here it's a little, slightly longer, but still short on the shoulder. Then you start to blend with the side of the dog, okay? This area here between the skirt, okay, that comes uh, below the body of the dog and the side of the dog. This area here is the blending area where you wanna blend nicely with the skirt so you don't wanna create a line that it comes, comes very short here and then starts the long hair from the skirt, okay? Uh, so you want a nice blended line that you cannot see that big line here. Uh, is it possible all the time? No, depend on the hair, it's difficult. Depend you get a dog from somebody else that groomed the dog and you, you, you have to get that dog ready for the show. And um, sometimes you're not able to, to make a smooth line without any a smooth um, side and skirt without any lines, but that should be the aim without any big lines here cutting the dogs, okay? So uh, since the side of the neck I'm pulling this way, then I start to pull on an angle here up to where it goes almost straight here, okay? Because the this part, it's funny, this part of the skirt, there's a tendency of the hair that goes forward. So that's why I pull slightly on an angle here to help the, the, um, the skirt go flat, okay? This part of the skirt, the, the leg, I brush up a little bit and pull down the tips. I only pull the tips here. This area here, uh, this area that you see here, it's a shorter, it's a shorter area, almost like from, from the, the tail to this uh, side of the leg and on the back of the leg, it's shorter. And I pull on an angle, okay? I don't pull straight like this. I pull on an angle like this. And as I go, as I go down, I start to turn uh, more on a straight angle like this until I start to pull down near the foot, okay? Pull straight down. And then the foot, this part of the hocks here, I pull up, okay? So you need to leave some hair here so you're not gonna pull very short. Uh, you have to pull up, but the tips of the hair. I always grab from the tip. Don't lift the hair and grab the bottom of the the root of the the hair because you can create a hole, and then it's hard to fix. Okay, so um, the back of the tail here it's very short, and you leave a little bit more hair in the front of the tail because sometimes, and not always, but sometimes the dog has a slightly uh, slightly low tail set, okay? Or that has a thin, uh, very thin tail. So this creates some, uh, makes the, the tail looks a little bit um, um, thicker and also brings the tail up to the back. So it makes the, it looks like there's a higher set even if, when if it doesn't have. And it doesn't hurt even when it's correct you leave the hair a little bit. Let's say the tail would be here and this would be hair kind of thing, okay? And this, the tail, the back part of the tail, very short, okay? This would be hair a little bit. And uh, some people use the thinning shears. I used on the back of the tail sometimes. I used, I used right in the, um, uh, near uh, the scrot scrotum here, like uh, the, um, sorry, the, um, let me see the name here. Did they use the rectum? Oh, shoot. The rectum, near the rectum here. So I use the scissor, this part, and all the other parts I pull. I pull tight on the back here.
okay? And then you start to leave more hair on this part here, so to blend with the hair from the uh, um, the hocks to create a nice smooth transition here. You don't wanna you don't wanna like come in here and then do this. You wanna create a nice smooth transition here. Okay, so um, the skirt I also. When I'm blending here, I lift the hair here and pull. I grab another section and pull. I grab another section and pull. So when I pull here, I don't pull one hair beside the other. I pull one, give a little bit of space, pull another one, pull another one, okay? And once, when I give the space, what, what does it, it, there will be short and long, short and long, short and long, so that when you brush down, will make blend towards the skirt and not create the line like short, 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 long, okay? Um, so I hope this helps a little bit. This part I put blend here is where you come down from the neck and you're gonna, you're gonna come somewhat short here and then you're gonna start to leave a little bit more hair here to, in, uh, where the withers are to, to uh, to create a nice nice line neckline here blending into the top line okay so that's the blending uh, between the neckline and the top line okay so um, let me know if you have any questions uh, I hope that uh, can help uh, some of you out there and um, hopefully very soon I'll have some dogs to to work with. All right, thank you guys.